Hey guys, happy Friday. It's operations time again. We're going to continue our little, uh, you know, let's talk uh, discussion about uh, operations here, except uh, we're going to be running some trains here. We're doing yard work. So this is uh, kind of the first time we're going to be running trains in our little process here. Let me go ahead and uh, pick up the camera here and uh, show you what, uh, what I'm talking about now. So if you haven't seen the previous video uh, entitled uh, Let's Talk Operations, go take a look at that one there because I am making up a uh, sort of dice rolling uh, method of doing, uh, you know, switching here on the layout. And uh, this is part two uh, from uh, part one over there where we, uh, we had our cars come in here and I kind of described in detail how this thing works and everything. But um, two little things to update right here. Uh, so uh, basically I made a switch list here last night after uh, taking a look at all of our cars that came in. Now here is our little list of cars that came in from the uh, hauler right there. And then uh, what we did is we kind of figured out uh, where, where they're gonna go, right? We rolled our dice over here and uh, determined which industry they were gonna be going into. And then uh, we kind of made up a logical sort of order and came up with the fact that, uh, well, they're going to three different uh, major areas in the layout. And so we're gonna have three different locals, hence, here we go, here's my three different locals now. Obviously I did this on the computer there in the Google, uh, the Google Docs and uh, you know gave a nice little uh, dot matrix uh, sort of font right there. But uh, basically here's our first train right here. So this is all three trains. Now if, uh, if I was uh, you know maybe having people over to operate, which I don't, but uh, I would print each one of these separately and uh, you know for three different locals here but I, since it's just me i just put all three locals here on the same sheet anyway here we go let's take a look at our first local right here just to kind of show you what's happening here so uh, the train loa 32 i just called it l i called it the la mirada local here and uh, the only place that's going here is uh, shasta beverage and uh, here let me get a little pointer here so i have to look at my big fat finger here you go here we go it's a little sturdy stick uh shasta beverage and we've got uh, two cars here, the ones in black. I made the pickups in red. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just the way I did it, whatever. So anyway, uh, this little spreadsheet, well, it's not really a spreadsheet, it's a document that I made. And so very basic here. So we've got the location, where we're going to. We're going to Shasta Beverage. The cars, we got three cars here. Um, and the, you know, their designations here. Uh, the type of cars, uh, B is for boxcar in my world, and then a T tanker there, we're picking up a tanker. I just gave them the color so we can identify them. Um, P or D, pick up, drop off. So uh, dropping, dropping, picking up right there. Um, I did do a track, even though there's only one track in this particular industry. I did sort of do a thing of a track because uh, some industries like SoCal Edison over here, you can see we do have uh, multiple tracks over there. Um, so we'll just identify the track, even if it's just the one track, um, but different spots and where those cars are going to be spotted. Now, here's the interesting thing. I'll only bring this over here. Uh, from yesterday, I kind of just made a quick list of uh, here are the steps we're going to go do in this little process. Now, I'm sort of making this up as I go. I'm sort of learning, too. And so that we're going to modify one little thing here. Step number five which is what we're going to be doing today. Yard Switcher classifies the cars up here on our layout. But um, step six and seven is basically creating the switch list, which, uh, which you see over here. And I think that kind of makes a little bit more sense to, uh, you know, once you've, uh, once you've kind of stepped through, once you've stepped through this little document and scribbled down, you know, how, figured out how many different locals there are going to be here and where things are going, you build your actual switch list first, and then you're going to come out here, and we're going to run our uh, little yard goat over here, and we're going to classify them. It kind of just makes a little bit more sense because we've had a little bit of uh, time here to kind of think about uh, which cars go where. Like, for instance, uh, this second train here, I'm going to call it the uh, Huntington Beach local here, LOA32H for Huntington Beach. Uh, it's going to three different industries, United Polymers, Soundtracks, and SoCal Edison, with its uh, different cars here that it's dropping off and picking up. But um, I was able to kind of say, well, you know, take a look at the, the layout and uh, my little diagram here. 
my little lovely diagram of the layout. And uh, uh, I could kind of figure out, well, the first stop is going to be this uh, United Polymers, and then the next stop is going to be this, and then the next stop is going to be that. So we can kind of block, I guess if that's the right car, I don't know if it's block or classify, whatever. We're, 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 we're kind of putting the, the order of the industries, and we can use this switch list then to sort of make sure we've got kind of the cars in the correct order once uh, once we start working in the yard here. So that's basically step number five would really be a step the last step. So six and seven uh, is creating the switch lists and then the last step is actually going and using the switch list to actually run the, uh, the yard ops here, which is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, we'll see how this looks. I got my coffee, I got all my stuff over here. We're already fired up. The new guy right there is uh, he's gonna be running at remote control. So let's get the sound down over here. Uh, I think we got the lights on, yes we do, there we go. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is just kinda pull out of the yard here and make sure I got my, my uh, turnouts all aligned correctly. Let me uh, move that camera just a little bit, all right. Freaks off, pull it on out there, new guy. All right, so uh, since we we basically have determined that uh, there are three locals that are gonna be taking all of these cars out, so three separate locals. Now, uh, in the last video I said well, I generally use two different tracks, but uh, for the sake of uh, at least getting stuff arranged here, we're actually gonna use three tracks because um, we got three different locals we're building, and then uh, and then we'll move one of the short ones there, which is our Shasta beverage that only has two cars. Uh, we'll kind of double up on one of the, uh, you know, sort of uh, local staging tracks, uh, if we uh, call it that way. Um, and so we will be using, let me see here, this is track, we're currently on track one, two, three, four, okay? We're gonna use uh, the, so what is it, five, six, and seven, so the, the Three tracks there off to the right hand side over here, uh, which you'll see in a second. We're going to use all those, okay, to uh, do our three, uh, three locals here. So uh, obviously, we're going to take a look at our car here, and we can see we've got uh, our box, right? Two fifty-five is our first one, and that just happens to be our one of our Shasta beverage cars. And we will put that all the way on the track farthest here, track number seven, out there. So let me uh, let me back you up over here a little bit so you can get a little bit better view. There we go. There you go. Uh, a little bit more there, engineer, uh, or I should say, pseudo uh, remote control engineer, uh, you guy. All right, everything looks good there. Whoop, wrong way. Come on. Anyway, so I hope that kind of makes sense. So uh, yeah, basically uh, we did our switch lists first and that gave us a better idea of how we got to kind of divvy up these cars uh, and, and sort of block them together. And now we're using our switch list in effect that the locals are going to use to uh, drop our cars off here and uh, separate them all out. So there's our first one. Uh, we will drop it uh, right there, it's good. And again, there's only two cars going to Shasta Beverage, so we're only, we're gonna have this car and one of the other ones, whichever one it is. It's a green, uh, green car that's way up near the locomotive right now. All right, so next car right here, VCY uh, 111. That one is going to SoCal Edison, okay? So that's our next uh, industry, let's say. It's uh, Huntington Beach, so we're going to put him on the next track over over here. Now here's where it's going to get a little bit, uh, well, let's say it's going to get a little bit more complicated here because, uh, you know, Shasta Beverage there is just getting two cars. So uh, the track over there where we're leaving our, uh, where we are, yeah, this is a better view here for you. Where we're leaving that uh, that one car is going to be pretty straightforward, but uh, here's where having the, the switch list will kind of help us out over here a little bit because uh, 
not only do we have to sort of separate this entire line of cars into three locals, right? Uh, the two locals here with multiple industries, we got to kind of sort those cars out too, right? And so this guy right here is in the wrong spot. So he's actually going to, uh, you know, uh, Southern California Edison here. Let's drop him off right here. And actually before that, let me take a look at our box 600 just to see where he is going. Uh, yeah, he's going into the other track. So, um... You'll kind of see once we go over here what I mean, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna sort. Uh, I guess this is what would be called blocking the cars, right, for the local, right? Because we could just take. And while we pull out, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an idea here what I'm talking about here. Hopefully, hopefully this makes sense right here. Well, let's put this right there. All right, so uh, here's what we're talking about. Here's our second local right here, Huntington Beach, and our blue blue car that we just did right there uh, is down here. He's going to uh, Southern California Edison, but uh, so he's really got to be at the head of the train, right? This is the back of the train, the middle of the train, and the uh, right up against the locomotive. So he's in the wrong spot. He's, he's kind of way up here, and we got to eventually move him around there. Got one of these big bugs flying around over here. All right, I hope that kind of makes sense. But uh, you know, we once we get everything sorted over here, I think it will. I think it will eventually make sense. All right, so our next car right here is going on to our uh, our third train, our orange local, or what I'm going to call LOA 32O. Right, and we're going to leave him there, and uh, before I pull out, I'm just going to double check the next car, uh, you know, just because maybe we got to drop him off over here, and that, uh, that uh, guy right there is diversified gas, I could tell right now, because there's a tank car here, uh, 669 is going to diversified gas, which is on our orange local, right? Yep, 600, and then diversified gas, so that's good. So we don't even have to drop this. We can, we're actually dropping these two guys off. All right, next car over here is uh, 234. Uh, he's got to go to SoCal Edison. So we'll cut these guys right here. Yep, come on there. There we go. And like I said, guys, I'm kind of kind of learning and then kind of stepping through this sort of uh, as I go here. So I'll probably make a few maybe modifications or something like that. But uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, I think the yard classification here can get very complicated. I can tell already because uh, even though we're just kind of splitting all these cars up into three different trains, if we just did that, then that's fine. But then I think we're going to have to come back afterwards and we're going to have to sort the cars. So kind of two-step process here. And I don't know how to do sort of both steps at the same time, if you know what I mean. Okay, so next tank car is going over there. Let's take a look at this, uh, this box car. It's 710. Let's see where he's going. I'm looking at my list and then, no, he's going to be going to orange. So we've got to split him up. Yeah, if I can uh, see back there. There we go. Now we only got, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five more boxcars to go over here. So we'll see how far we get. Pretty. Make sure you get uh, stuff to look at over here. Now, maybe if you get uh, really good at it, you could probably do both of these steps at the same time, right? I'm going to push this one a little bit farther here, and he did not get a good connection, actually, right there with the uh, tank car. I'm going to pull him forward just a little bit. 
and shove him back just a little bit, get a good connection there. There we go. All right. So we're dropping this guy off. Next guy, uh, NS41, is also going to Huntington Beach. So that's that guy right there. <laughs> it kind of helps here. Let me show you this. And again, I'm learning as I go here. So this sort of helps because I've got the first local, the second local, the third local. And it just so corresponds with the tracks. The first loco, the second loco, and the third loco. So it, 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 it's the same, right? One, here, right? One, two, three. One, two, three on the tracks there. So that's kind of helping me at least stay a little bit, uh, I don't know, organized here so I don't get too mixed up. So, yeah, so I'm looking down and I'm saying, well, this uh, Norfolk Southern uh, 41 car, go figure, uh, he is not going on this track. He's got to go on the second track over there. We, it's already disconnected. Let's go ahead and pull him out and stick him back onto, uh, onto the back of that, uh, that tank car there. Anyway, uh, if you guys are, uh, you know, I don't know, experts at this, uh, let me know. Because is this the way you run things? Uh, how do you guys run your yards? How do you guys do your uh, blocking and classification? Do you do them all at once? Do you kind of do it like, well, I think I'm, this is the way I'm going to do it. Because honestly, you do it how you can, right? In your head. I mean, I mean, you know, what I'm trying to say is that... You do what works for you kind of thing and right now for me It's a little bit too much to think about um, You know trying to get the cars on an individual track sorted as opposed to just keeping track of which car is going on one of the three tracks You know and then come back and then do the sorting of uh, of the actual industries there so anyway next up is our green um, BN car 744. Let's see where he's going. I'm looking at my list, and and again, that's our Shasta beverage car. So we'll get rid of him. We'll get rid of him over here. Only two more cars to go. Hey, so far, so good there for the new guy. He's a little flustered. And confused in his head. It's early morning. Eh? He needs some more coffee. Let me get a sip here. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, all right. Well, this is fun, though. I kind of like it. Uh, and while we're dropping this guy off, uh, if you noticed, I put my table back here. My little drafting table where all my paperwork is. I kind of missed having that. Although I don't know if I, I'm going to keep it that way. All right. Uh, we're going to shove this guy just a little bit farther so he's off the curve. And I know that uh, those are the only two cars that are going down to uh, SoCal Edison. That, uh, that yellow one and the green one right there. So let's see who else we got over here. Two cars left. Uh, our box 563. Looking at my list. Uh, 563 is going to FXI, so uh, he's going over here. And now again, I could say that, uh, well, if I had, uh, I, guess, I guess if I wasn't so flustered, no, not, I, I shouldn't say flustered, but uh, if I was a little bit more organized in my head, uh, I might be able to sort these cars right now. But I, I, it's not me. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in two steps here. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna shove him back just a little bit more, just so we have a little bit of room here. Right there. All right, so that leaves our last car, our little uh, light blue AOK -okay car, and uh, he is going to uh, United Polymers. So, United Polymers uh, local, that's, uh, that's this guy here in the middle, our Huntington Beach local. 
And now, even though this guy's got to go over here, now we can kind of start thinking about, because that sort of finishes this process here of at least splitting this up into our three different trains. But we can start kind of thinking about uh, now sorting these cars out, right? So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to take a look at uh, I'm going to take a look at our Huntington Beach local here, and you can see there's our AOK -okay car. And again, the way this flows is these are the first stops. So this local is going to stop at United Polymers first, and then Soundtracks, and then SoCal Edison. And so, starting from the back of the train, in effect, <laughs> we got to get this guy, the AOK -okay car, at the very back of the train. Then the Norfolk Southern car, uh, and then our uh, VNC car, and our tank car, right? And so we can kind of start doing that. So this car right here, our little light blue car, in effect, is the one that's got to be all the way at the back of the train, right? And then our Norfolk Southern. So we can actually start doing a little bit of a little bit of work right here. Let's go ahead and grab that Norfolk Southern. Yeah, I can't talk. Whoa, hold on there, engineer. All right, good. We didn't connect that. Let's go ahead and, uh, and grab our brown Norfolk Southern car first. So, like I said, in effect here, I guess there's an extra step here in the yard work. There is dividing up the cars into their uh, locals, which we did. Um, and now we're sorting and blocking each individual train of cars into the, the correct order that they should be in for the local, right? All right, so I'm gonna disconnect this uh, Norfolk Southern car. And now we're going to start putting together that uh, that Huntington Beach local, okay? And we just kind of left this guy here because we had to drop him off someplace anywhere, right? Because we've got to kind of sort these cars out a bit. Now you might say, well, this is getting really confusing. And it, it kind of is, but uh, hey, that's kind of the fun of it here. And if you just sort of take it one step at a time, at least like I'm doing, it's starting to kind of come together here. We're towards the end of our little uh, yard sorting here, right? All right, here we go. And now this is why I kind of push those other cars down a little bit, right? I'm gonna shove these down just a little bit more just to clear the other track right there. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna kind of give us a little bit of extra space here. There we go. That way we don't uh, we don't follow the track over there. We'll disconnect here. Now we got to go back in and we got to grab our uh, our last two cars there that are going to be going to uh, SoCal Edison. And a little bit more and right there, just clearing a switch over here. Let me give you a little bit of higher view over here. And we're grabbing that blue box car and a tank car over there. And of course, we got the tank car right next to us, but uh, <laughs> oh brother. We'll keep it simple here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fuss with uh, having the, the tank car right by the locomotive here, if you know what I mean. I mean, I guess we could. Why not? We're, we're, we're going this far. We might as well do the whole thing, right? All right, so our tank car right here and our blue uh, Golden West car, those are the two that are going into uh, Southern California Edison. They're the last ones on our Huntington Beach local. And we'll grab our... Uh, Norfolk Southern car and our uh, light blue car there. And then we'll get them all on the right track. And 
And then what we'll do is, is uh, just to, you know, sort of be, be proper here, uh, we don't want to have a loaded tank car next to the locomotives. Um, somebody said that, uh, actually I can't remember who it was, somebody I think mentioned that in one of my videos and uh, he's, uh, he's, in, uh, he's over there uh, across the pond, I believe. And uh, not familiar with American Ops, or I don't know, actually, he might be, uh, he might be down under, who knows, I don't remember. But uh, wasn't familiar with the, the rules and regulations of, uh, you know, why, I think he was asking about the buffer car I had, that sort of thing. And so, apparently there's uh, rules there, you know, you can't have a, can't have a loaded tank car, um, you know, in... Right next to the locomotive, the way this the, the way this thing is right here. If this was our local, we don't want to have the locomotive in a loaded tank car full of uh, a phosphoric acid here, right? So we're gonna kind of switch this around. Let me see what we gotta do here. Um, well, yeah, we gotta pull it out here. Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna swap these two cars. So tank car here, box car there. Just a little bit of an extra step here in our, uh, in our, uh, you know, switching around here in the yard. Now our Shasta beverage cars over there, the two on the very first track over there, or I should say track seven, are good because it's just the one industry. So we're, we're doing this because we've got cars, four, four different cars here going to three different industries and we just kind of want to get them in the right order and whatnot. There we go. All right, so I'm going to temporarily swap these guys around. So now I'm going to pull the uh, tank car out, get him on the, uh, on the other track really quick. While we're doing that, uh, thank you for watching. I had a lot of good comments. People, uh, people talking about the, my little method here and stuff. Uh, it's always nice when the uh, you know kind of stuff uh, works out a little bit. And by that I mean, uh, you know, I'm kind of trying to come up with a simple method of doing this without uh, you know without having to do a bunch of work. Right? But I still want to have enough work, and, uh, and the beauty of this little system here, and, and, and I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not the first one that came up with something like this, you know. <laughs> uh, we've been doing model railroading for decades, and other people have had, I've, and I've seen different systems where they're rolling dice, or they use little spinners, or all sorts of different, you know, methods of, uh, you know, kind of randomizing uh, where cars go and stuff like that. And, uh, but anyway, I had a lot of, had a lot of good comments on people, uh, you know, kind of thinking, starting to get, think about what we're, what we're doing here and what they're doing on their layout and stuff and how they're operating. You know, maybe they were a little bit uh, intimidated by a, a car card way bill system and, you know, keeping track of all that. And as much as that kind of appeals to me, I kind of wanted to keep it simple too, right? And so that's why I sort of thought, well... You got to work this little system here, where there's a minimum sort of uh, paperwork, but enough paperwork to you know kind of uh, you know make it like we're having operations here. You know, make it like we, there's something to do here. I mean, look at all this time we've spent here, uh, just trying to figure out uh, you know get the cars in the right order. We're running trains. We've been running trains the whole time here, having a good time. There we go now. We finally got our Huntington Beach local in the correct order here. And uh, I'm going to disconnect here. And I'm going to go ahead and silence the, uh, the locomotive here. And we'll take a quick quick look over here. Now I'm going to move. I'm going to just physically move these cars a little bit so we can uh, we can get an idea of what, uh, what we're discussing here. Right? There we go. All right. So... Let's take a look at our spread or spreadsheet. I say our spreadsheet, but take a look at our uh, little sheet here. So our first 
local train here, the La Mirada Local, going to Shasta Beverage. That's the only industry it's going to. And we've got our uh, yellow and green boxcar all the way back there by itself, right? And then our next guy, our Huntington Beach Local here, is going to three different industries again. United Polymer Soundtracks and SoCal Edison right there. And we have those guys all uh, in the correct order, right, from back to front. And you can see, starting with that light blue car over there, that's the AOK -OK car over here going to uh, United Polymers. Soundtracks is the Norfolk Southern car. Ooh, focus, that one there. And then now we've got our tank car and our uh, blue uh, Golden West car that are going to SoCal Edison. And you can see that it matches with what uh, with what's on the switch hit list here at least the way it's you know sort of laid out in the laid out in uh, in the yard here right and so we've kind of done two steps here which is kind of neat um, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna modify my little list of steps to do but uh, there we go we've got uh, two of the trains sorted here and uh, we've only got to get our last one sorted over here, and I haven't even thought about it or looked at it, but uh, we can take a quick gander here, just so a little bit of a refresher here. So we got uh, three box cars and a tank car. Now, the first one, or I should say at the back of the train here, should be our box 600, which it just so happens to be right there. The next car is uh, our, uh, our diversified gas. Uh, PPGX669, a black uh, tank car, it just so happens to be there. And look at it, we got we got in luck. These guys just kind of fell it right into place. We don't have to screw with them or anything. The last two guys going over to FXI are the two Arbox 710 and 563. There we go. They're in the they're in the correct order. So we kind of just lucked out right there. Um, the only real you know kind of sorting we had to do here was for the uh, Huntington Beach local right there. Hey, that was kind of fun. Not too bad for the new guy, huh? Right there, guys. Oh, hold on. All right, guys. Sorry, there. I had to get my uh, I had to get my phone right there. But anyway, uh, where was I? I don't know. I <laughs> got distracted. Anyway. Hi guys, I hope you enjoy that, and uh, I guess I'm going to cut it right there. That's uh, part two here. We've got our at least three uh, locals sorted out over here. The next videos will be uh, will be us running out and uh, doing some switching over there, which should be pretty straightforward. And uh, we'll be using our new little switch list right here. And then, uh, oh yeah, I think I said I was going to... I'm gonna kind of modify my little steps here to do uh, just get that stuff in the right order but it was definitely uh, helpful like I said to uh, have the switch list done for the locals before we actually sorted the cars out over here I think that that kind of works out really good but that's what I was saying before like uh, is that what you guys do I don't know you know I'm sure everybody has their own little method and whatnot I'm just curious so that kind of worked out pretty good for me I like it I think I'm gonna enjoy this little uh, this little method of doing things and take another swig of coffee over here <sighs> and then think about what else to do here all right guys I hope you enjoyed that don't forget to hit the thumbs up button all that good stuff and uh, get on your layout there start to uh, start printing out some stuff start running some trains start doing some operations it's fun all right guys till next time take care bye